Okay, hi. Uh, my name is Gustav Gustafsson and uh, I do a little bit of FPV flying. Now, uh, I use action cameras like the Hero, uh, the GoPro Hero, the Contour and Mobius and more. And uh, I've I'm, uh, I'm been thinking about the, uh, the fisheye effect. Now, this can be good when you're flying to have a wide lens, 170 degree field of view, it's, it's great. But it's not so cool when you're making videos. Um, and uh, sometimes uh, the distortion, uh, the so-called barrel distortion, uh, it can be quite uh, annoying, especially if you have on a horizon or landscape uh, videos and so on. So what can you do about it? Well, first of all, you can change the lens. Uh, now you have uh, companies that uh, have introduced lenses with uh, no fisheye effect. Uh, sometimes that's very expensive, uh, sometimes it's less expensive. I don't want to go into that, but uh, you have uh, companies like Ratescom and, and others that are specializing in that. What I want to do is introduce uh, a method I'm using uh, for my videos, which uh, I find very easy to use. and. Uh, and uh, are quite uh, quite good, uh, and that's uh, basically adding After Effects. Uh, that's using software to modify the video clip. Now, uh, the program I'm using here is called Pro Data. It's very simple to use, sim simple to use, and uh, it's uh, very effective. Um, the 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 producer Pro Dat, um, is uh, is the producer, but. Uh, the uh, software itself is called ProTrenaline, but they have also other uh, software packages, uh, for example, uh, one that is just for uh, uh, taking out the fisheye effect, but for uh, the ProTrenaline software it, it also has uh, stability and uh, compensation, you can, uh, you can add the video effects and you can uh, have uh, a virtual camera adjustments and so on. Now, I'm going to show you uh, a clip which I took recently, which has uh, very visible fish effects. Now, this is the uh, the software itself. This is how it starts up, and it's it's uh, when it, when you start the program, you have this uh, blinking area here, which says drop media into the black area, or click here to open media. Now, uh, I have this uh, file here, which is uh, which is quite nice. And uh, as you can see here, it's uh, absolutely obvious that the fisheye effect is is uh, is uh, distorting the video. This is the uh, the barrel effect. Now, if if we play this, the original file, um, as you can see, this is very annoying. Now, let's take a look at. Uh, Let's take a look at uh, how it would look if I were to add the uh, profile for the uh, GoPro 2 1080 white. Okay, now you see uh, here is where the fisheye stops. Well, at least it's much, much less than it used to be. And the picture looks much nicer. Now the gimbal has uh, a little bit of roll on it when I'm taking this video, but uh, as you can see it's... Uh, there is quite a huge difference just by just by selecting the uh, the settings for the correct for the correct camera. And here you have, um, for example, the um, the Contour. You have the Samsung. You have the Canon, um, and uh, so on. So uh, and of course you have all the uh, different uh, types of the GoPro. Now uh, the one I took here. Uh, the one I used here was the uh, the GoPro 2, so uh, we'll use that one. Now, of course, you can if you, for example, if you have the old GoPro camera, uh, you can select 1080p, and that will automatically uh, change the field of view to 127 degrees. But uh, in the GoPro 2 and 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 later, you can select the wide, the normal, and the uh, the narrow view. The wide is 170 degrees. The middle is uh, 127 and the narrow view is 90 degrees but um, generally I prefer 170 degrees uh, when I'm flying with, uh, and controlling the craft with FPV but 
that's uh, that's an individual opinion. So uh, that depends. But as you can see, if you want to uh, remove the uh, the uh, fisheye effect, that's how you do it. It's very easy. Now let's compare them. And as you can see, this is here. The line is straight on the right, and on the left, you can see immediately where the fisheye, the barrel effect, comes into place. So. Uh, but I'm also going to change a little bit the uh, the pre uh, the presets of the video, and I'm going to change it a little bit. Now you can see here in the video effects presets that you can select all kinds of all kinds of uh, of uh, prefects, uh, and uh, so this is also a nice option. But uh, I'm not going to use this here. I'm just going to use the uh, the uh, preset number 100 and uh, I find the color a little bit nicer now uh, when I'm done uh, with the fisheye effect I can also select to staple as the video and now if you staple as the video the, the software has to analyze it that takes a little bit of time but after that uh, you can go directly to um, to export the selected clip or you can uh, do some more changes and uh, if you look at the, the virtual camera adjustment you can see you can actually zoom the video and uh, you can tilt it and pan it and even roll it so sometimes like in this video um, the gamepad was a little bit uh, rolling to the right and now I can fix it here so uh, if I just look at the optimized view, this is a totally different picture than uh, this one. So there's a lot of options in this software. It's basically it's a, it's basically very nice to uh, to use uh, if you're using the, the action cameras um, and you don't want to spend uh, a lot of money in in changing either the, the hardware, the, the, uh, the cameras themselves, or, or, or the lenses. Uh, this is of course not the same quality as, as changing lenses, but it's the second best opinion, the second best option in my opinion. And uh, so when I've done this, I select export optimized media. Here you can select if it's um, a QuickTime movie or if it's an MPEG-4 movie. Uh, you can select the quality low, medium, high. You can denoi have a denoise filter if there's uh, noise in the video and uh, you can have strong, medium, low or, or the, the filter disabled. And uh, this is what basically what I use. So I just click export file and um, of course I selected a very uh, small part of the clip now so it's quite, uh, it's quite quick to work but uh, we can expect for a normal clip depending on of course quality of the export and the size of the clip but it take maybe 20 minutes, half an hour, even more to export but uh, it's definitely worth it now of course if you if you don't want to buy um, a software like uh, ProDrenaline from ProDot uh, you can if you have for example Final Cut or, or other uh, studio programs you sometimes have plugins uh, to remove the fisheye, and uh, uh, but uh, in my opinion, uh, this is the easiest way because uh, you can actually select which camera you have been using. Also, if you have a camera that uh, is not, uh, you cannot pre-select in the uh, in the software. Uh, it, it's actually possible to uh, to uh, to record uh, a clip that the video shows you and uh, you act, import that into the program, into uh, ProTrenaline and it, it automatically figures out the best settings for the camera. So that's, that's, an, easy, that's an easy way to uh, import your camera settings if they are not already in the program. But as I said, most of the, action, most of the popular action cameras are there, so it shouldn't be a problem. But um, here we, and finally, um, uh, you can see here um, uh, the final results uh, of the um, of the uh, fisheye effect being removed from the clip. So, thank you.